Hello everyone, welcome back. It is officially fall. I can't believe how quickly this year is flying by. But I thought it'd be a lot of fun to share some easy and beautiful hairstyles and pair them with some of my favorite hair accessories that are right on trend for fall. I had a lot of fun planning this video. I'm so excited to see it all come together. And as always, I will post pictures of the final looks over on my Instagram. So I'll link that down below and be sure to check it out. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be adding some hair extensions to these hairstyles. People always ask me, do I always wear hair extensions? But no, only when I want to add like volume to the hairstyles and really make them pop. So what I'm going to do is just clip a four clip weft to another four clip weft. And I'm just going to clip this in just below my ears. So the first hairstyle is a braided half up hairstyle and I wanted to pair it with my favorite accessory for fall, which is this beautiful wool hat. I just thought this would complement the hairstyle so well with the braids peeking out. Okay, so first step to create the first braid is I'm going to gather all of the hair that's just above my temples on this side and then I'm going to gather the hair that's just above my ears, leaving down some hair to cover my ears to give it that boho look look and you only want to gather the top half of your hair so I'll turn around and I'll show you so you want to section off all of the hair that's underneath and only gather that hair that's on top so now that I have my first section I'm just going to pull out some bang and some hair just in front of my ears here I just think that looks really pretty and then same thing on this side all right, so I'm actually gonna let down a little bit more hair on the left side. So my braid is a little more kind of diagonal. Perfect. All right, next, divide it into three equal sections. And I'm just gonna do a three strand braid. So I'm going to bring this left piece over the middle and then loosely bring this right piece over the middle and then I'm just going to really loosely continue this braid almost all the way down this section but I find kind of the less perfect the better so I'm going to stop about here and then before I secure it off I'm just going to pinch and pull on my braids and of course make yours as big and voluminous as you like but I've always loved braids for fall. I think that they are just so cozy and cute and I really love the texture that they add to your hair. And I like to grab like really little pieces and pull those too just to add even more texture and more detail. All right, once you're happy with it, just tie it off with a small hair elastic. And then on the last loop of the hair elastic, I'm just going to off and I'm going to grab a small piece of hair and wrap it around the bottom of my braid and then pull it through the elastic just to cover it up and there we have it our first braid all right so I'm just going to clip this out of the way and then I'm going to gather all of the remaining hair on this left side again leaving some out to cover my ear for that boho look and again, just gathering the top layer. I like to leave a lot of hair down just to keep some volume. I think it looks really pretty. And leave some hair down to cover my extensions. All right, so with this new section, feel free to create whatever type of braid you like. I'm actually going to create a fishtail braid, but you could also just do a three strand braid or a rope braid if you like. So for a fishtail braid, divide your hair into two equal sections and just grab a small piece from the outside of your right section. And we're just going to cross that over and join it into the left section. And then repeat on the left side, grab a small piece of hair and bring it over that left section and join it into your right section. Perfect, so just repeat that pattern down the remainder of your section. And when I'm creating braids like this, I like to grab larger pieces, smaller pieces, just really alternate the size to give that braid more of like a deconstructed look. I think it's really pretty. Plus, if you grab larger sections, it will speed up your braid because my arms are getting tired. <laughs> and I find pulling it over your shoulder also helps once you get lower down your section. All right, so I'm gonna stop here. I actually really like the look of the curls just hanging out at the bottom. So once you're happy with the length of your braid, 
Again, go in, this is the best part, and pinch and pull on the outsides of your braid. I like to start at the top, work my way down. This will just help fan it out, help it stand out. I think it looks really pretty. All right, once you're happy with it, just tie the ends off with a little clear elastic. And before you let go of your last loop of your elastic, just hold it, grab a small piece of hair, and just wrap it around your hair elastic. Once you're near the end, just pull it through that loop and let go. How cute is that? I love the texture of a fishtail braid. So pretty. All right, so I'm going to clip this braid away and I'm just going to add one more braid with the hair that's hanging down right here. Maybe I'll pick up a little bit of that extension as well. And again, you can create any braid that you like, but I'm going to keep it simple and I'm just going to do another three strand braid right here. You know what, this braid actually ended up braiding itself at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is flip that braid through the hole here. Again, of course, I'm going to pull this braid apart, keeping the bottom tight just so it holds it in place. I'm going to unclip these braids from earlier. Play around with the shape a little bit. Oh wow, I think this looks so pretty. All right, and then I'm just going to pop on my fall hat. And how cute is this? I love these textured braids. I think this is the perfect hairstyle for fall and would look so cute with a turtleneck and your fall jacket. All right, so next up is an effortless low bun. You knew I just had to include one, but you can also recreate this on a sleek bun as well. Now, this hairstyle is super simple, so the accessory I wanted to incorporate is a scarf just to help dress it up a little bit. And I came across this one on Free People's website. They have the most gorgeous hair accessories. I was so inspired. Like, I would truly love to have my own one day, but I really love this one because... One second. You can detach the scarf from the scrunchie, so it's perfect. All right, so the first step is you just wanna gather all of your hair into a low ponytail. And you just wanna gather it nice and loosely so you can create some volume to give you that effortless look. So I'm just gonna pull out some hair. And then I love to just pull out little pieces to frame my face. Yeah, I love that. And then my bangs, which are quite long right now, but I'm just going to pull out a few pieces. All right, so I'm going to take the scrunchie, but you could also use a hair elastic, and I'm just going to create a super simple bun. All right, so I'm just going to carefully pull my hair through, just so I don't disrupt any volume that I have up here. And then I'm gonna take my scrunchie, and I'm going to cross it at the top of my ponytail, and then I'm just going to pull some of that hair through, like this. And then I'm going to pull on this bun that we created and of course give it that lived in texture. All right, so I'm going to just look at it from the side and I really like the way that it's laying, but I'm just going to kind of pull some smaller pieces and just add some texture by rubbing my fingers together. But you could also add like a texture spray to it too. And then I'm just going to hold my ponytail and pull up some small pieces just to add some more volume at the crown, of course. And then since this bun is so simple, I'm going to take my scarf. I'm just going to lay it on my head. I'm going to bring it around the bottom of my bun and then bring the ends of my scarf up and just tie them into one knot. And then to help hold my scarf into place, I'm just gonna take these gold bobby pins and I'm just going to insert them. I'm going to put this one just above it. I think these look really cute. And they'll hold your scarf in place. So there we have it. I told you this one was so easy. I just love how this scarf just adds a really special detail to an otherwise super simple hairstyle. I just think the texture and the look of it is absolutely perfect for fall. So next up is a really beautiful pull through voluminous 
ponytail and I did change my shirt because I want my pictures to look different. And the accessory that I wanted to include for this hairstyle is this adorable padded velvet headband. I absolutely love this and velvet is right on trend for fall and I find headbands are such an easy way to dress up a simple hairstyle. All right, so first step if you have a headband is to put it on. And when you're putting it on, you just wanna place it behind your ears and leave out all of this hair in the front. And if you don't have a headband, you just want to section off all of the hair in front of your ears. So once you have your side sections, you're just going to bring these together at the back of your head. But before I do that, again, I'm just gonna pull out some small pieces from my bangs, just to frame my face like that. And then same thing on this side. So once you're ready, just join those side sections at the back. All right, so for some extra detail, I'm actually just going to twist these side sections away from my face a couple of times and then gently pull on them to fan them out. I think it just looks really pretty, especially with the headband. Once you're happy with your twist, take a hair elastic, and you just wanna secure those two sections together right at the base of your head there. And when I'm wrapping my elastic, I just like to check and make sure there's no little hairs getting caught in it. And then you just pull to tighten it up if you need to. All right, so I'm going to repeat this again. So I'm going to grab the side sections at my head right here, leaving down enough hair at your neck still. I'm gonna repeat on the right side, leaving out hair on my neck. And then just grab those two side sections and bring them to the back. And same as before, I'm just going to twist these a couple of times and then pull on them to loosen them up and help them appear thicker. All right, so when I'm securing these two sections together, I want to try to cover up that little elastic there. So I'm going to do these a little tighter and then pull on the sides just to slide it up and cover up that elastic. All right, so again, I'm going to grab about like a two inch piece on the left side of my neck, still leaving some hair down in the middle. And then I'm going to repeat on the right side. Bring those two sections together at the back. And again, I'm going to just twist mine a couple of times. And then secure your two sections together with another hair elastic. And then pull on the sides to slide it up to cover your previous elastic. And if your elastics are peeking through, it's okay. It's just preference, but you can pull up on the middle just to help cover them up. So I think I'm going to do it one more time. I'm just going to grab another like one to two inch size section on the left and another one on the right. Bring them together and give them each a little twist away from my face. A little pull. Yeah, it's looking really pretty and then securing them together. And then once all of your hair is secure, you can just go in and play around with the shape. Of course, I'm going to make my twists bigger, more voluminous looking. I just love textured hairstyles for fall. And at this point, you can even pull on some small pieces at the crown just to create even more volume. And then to finish off the look, I'm just going to grab a small piece of hair from the underside and I'm going to wrap it around the hair elastic like one to two times. And I'm just taking a bobby pin and I'm going to slide it up through the center of the hair elastic, making sure to get that piece of hair that we wrapped on the underside and just slide it up the middle, making sure it's under the twists and not poking through. So there we have it. I absolutely love this hairstyle. I think the headband complements it perfectly and I really love how it's built right into the hairstyle and it's very secure. This will last you all day long. But I really hope that you found today's video helpful. I did film it a little bit differently so I'd love to hear your thoughts and your feedback in the comments 
below. I'll also link my older fall hairstyle tutorials down below and don't forget I'll share pictures of the final look over on my Instagram. I'm so excited to see how these pictures turned out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!